Hey and welcome to a new video. So today I am going to discuss the concept of virginity and my views and I hope we can kind of start a little bit of a discussion and sharing your like ideas about this in the comments. Um, but yeah, so um, virginity, what is virginity? And I think even that question depends on who you ask. So I feel like a lot of people think like see someone or see losing your virginity, I'll get back to that, um, as sex as in penis, vagina, ta -da. that's you're losing your virginity. But personally to me, that's not very inclusive of other type of relationships, other types of sex. So, um, yeah, so because is that, if that is your definition of losing your virginity, so then, you know, to women who have sex, who might never have sex with a man, are they then a virgin forever? Or to men who have sex with only men, are they then always virgins? Like see how that concept kind of because i used to be that person that was like okay it's like penis vagina no but you know i've kind of you know grew as a person since then so that's not my definition anymore and um i actually don't even really like the whole concept of virginity i don't even really like the word that much but i kind of use it because people know what i mean but um yeah, I don't really like the whole concept of virginity, the whole losing your virginity. Like, it's really, in my opinion, outdated and it puts this... It's like losing your virginity. I'm not losing anything. Like, to me personally, uh, losing your virginity is just having sex for the first time and it's not that big of a deal, I feel, like, as some people make it out to be um you know for me personally you know obviously it's partly a choice because obviously i can just go home with some dude i meet at a club or some guy i find on tinder and get it over with but um you know i just want to be able to at least like the person and somewhat trust the person because if you've seen my previous video about the reason i'm still a virgin um because of that, like I want to at least feel like I somewhat trust a person and you know, somewhat like them as a human being. Um, but that being said, I don't think it's that significant. Yes, it would be nice if you have like a long term relationship and you be with that person for the first time, but also it doesn't really matter. Like, I know people that lost their virginity to some guy on the second date and they had a great experience. And I know people who had been with their partner for like a year or longer before they lost their virginity and it was shit. So, <laughs> so honestly, probably like 90% of at least women I've talked to said the first time was shit. So, why would I wait around if it's probably gonna be shit anyway and, you know, might as well just get it over with and get the practice going. Anyways, <laughs> that is a different topic. But the whole concept of virginity and, like, yeah, it just seems really odd to me and very possessive and very, you know, some white guy, old white guys one time, hundreds of years ago, made up this concept so that they knew their woman would have their children, like, <laughs> basically. So, also, I do think there is sort of two ways, maybe, to lose your virginity. Obviously, blah, blah, blah. sorry, I can't talk, it's really hot today. I'm sweating, I had to close my window because otherwise there's too much noise. But I also think there is kind of two ways to lose your virginity, as in, I guess for everyone, I guess in actual, the physical act, of having sex with someone, obviously. 
But then I think there's also an emotional part and I don't think that has to be with the same person or at the same time. So yeah, it's just like the whole thing with, I guess, the losing your virginity, I guess that would go back to like the hymen for women. Like obviously I'm a woman, so we'll talk about, I'll talk mainly about that aspect of it. But like, even that I feel like is really outdated. Like there's, there is a post, like put a photo here somewhere. There's different kind of hymen. Some people are not born with one. Some people it's completely covered. Some people just have a little lip. Also, some people it doesn't tear or rip or whatever. Um, so it really depends on the person. And I don't think having a hymen or not having a hymen defines if you're a virgin or not. My worth, <laughs> honestly, my worth does not depend on if I had sex or not. Like, that's just, that's just stupid. Um, which also makes it, you know, dating-wise, it gets very interesting if people find out because I say, mm, I don't know, it's kind of like 30% don't care and the rest either kind of fetishize it, which is kind of weird and creepy to me because I don't want to be your fetish or they're completely turned off, which is fine because, you know, I'd rather know that beforehand and just get that over with and find someone else. Um, but yeah, I just find the whole concept of like losing your virginity, of losing someone Losing someone. What am I talking about? Losing something. <laughs> Stupid. If anything, you gain something. You gain an experience. <laughs> like, you don't lose anything. Like, that's just... I can't get my head around that concept. And I don't know. I know there's other people that think that way. And I think there's people... No, there's a lot of people that think the opposite. Like, yeah, I think just the important thing is that... You know, you do it when you want to. You be safe. Obviously, I can make a video about that too if I need to, but I guess there's plenty of videos about that already. Um, yeah, just be safe and like, make sure you feel comfortable in the situation as much as you can because, you know, I don't know this from experience, but I can imagine it can get awkward. <laughs> so, but yeah, at least know like you feel comfortable around the person and you want it for you and not for someone else. Um, and yeah, I don't know, it's just like, it's crazy how people like put this value on this. Well, in the end, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. People are ashamed for not being virgins. People are ashamed for being virgins. And I'm like, you just do you and like, you know, mind your own freaking business. So, and yes, I'm putting this on the internet, so I guess I'm kind of asking for people to be in my business, but I just want to share this because I know there's other people out there. So I'm 26 now, I'm turning 27 this year. God, I'm getting old. Um, but uh, yeah, I know because I've made these kind of videos previously, I know there are so many people out there, not just girls. I think honestly that the being a virgin part is probably even more of a taboo around guys because you know they have this whole stigma that you know they just have to bang all these girls and blah 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 which is stupid as well but um yeah i think that stigma for guys is even worse i guess um but yeah i guess the difference i think with virginity for women and men just physically as a woman, you need to be with someone you s you feel comfortable with because, you know, stuff's gonna dry up down there if you're not comfortable and it's not gonna be a good experience. So you need to have someone, you know, that care somewhat cares about you, that like, you know, wants you to be okay and you can, you know that they want you to be okay. So I think that's important, but just do you. If you wanna like, if you wanna wait till marriage, that's fine. If you just wanna, you know, hook up with a random dude, get it over with, and then sleep with like 10 different guys, you do you, that's fine too. Like, do what you want. And um, 
have fun <laughs> and you know just yeah it's just like the whole concept of virginity that I, I'm like can we come up with another word that like you know pretty much means haven't had sex with someone but it's not virginity because I really hate kind of hate the word but I don't know how else to describe it short like just a short word like I don't want to be like Oh yeah, I've never had sex with someone. Put that in my titles, that's too long. <laughs> I need like a one word. So if you can come up with that, leave it in the comments. If you have any other questions or I don't know, if you want me to do a Q&A or something at some point, like feel free to DM me on Instagram or leave a comment below. Uh, I'm sorry, this video was a little bit all over the place. I didn't really prepare it that well. I'll put some articles down below. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye.